Hi, my name is Chez, and welcome to the two-part series where we talk about disc brakes. Part one is where we discuss why you should be upgrading your non-disc brake bike and the differences between hydraulic versus mechanical with their pros and cons. Part two is something that other stores may not want me to share with you, and that's where we show you how to adjust your disc brakes for both systems. So let's get started. <laughs> Do you still ride a bike with no disc brakes? Well, here are seven reasons why you should upgrade to a new bike. Number one, disc brakes are less maintenance. Two, disc brake pads last longer compared to the traditional rubber brake pads. Number three, disc brakes are away from your rim to prevent wear. Number four, if a spoke breaks, you should still be able to ride without loosening off your brakes. Number five, more braking power. Six. New bikes have bigger wheels and have better quality overall. And number seven, who doesn't like a new bike? What are the differences between hydraulic and mechanical disc brakes? Hydraulic uses fluid to push pistons towards your disc. Mechanical uses a cable to push a piston towards your disc. So, which system is better? Short answer, hydraulic. With hydraulic brakes, it's a closed off system, so dirt or water can't enter. So with having a control system, pulling the brake levers are smoother and easier. Therefore, it's less stress on your wrists and forearms. This is perfect for people with arthritis. The downside is they aren't easy to fix without a kit. With mechanical brakes, it uses a traditional brake cable, so it makes dirt and water easier to enter. In fact, it's recommended you replace your brake cable and housing every year. When you do this, it will make your brakes almost as smooth as hydraulics because of less resistance. Another difference between the two systems is that the hydraulic system has two pistons moving towards the disc. On the mechanical, it has one stationary side and one side that moves. But what happens is that when it moves towards the disc, it actually pushes it towards the stationary brake pad, which is not really a good thing, but it still works great. Now, both of these brakes are adjusted differently, but we'll save that for part two. So, do you have a bike with disc brakes yet? If not, what's holding you back? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Chez, and welcome to the two-part series where we talk about disc brakes. Part one will discuss why you should be upgrading your non-disc brake bike and the differences between hydraulic and versus mechanical. <laughs>